Days away from NASA's next ambitious mission to the moon, Artemis Mun 1 will blast off on Monday. Yes, and joining us now to talk about the mega rocket and mission, Mark Kirisic, NASA's Deputy Associate Administrator for Artemis Campaign Development. Good morning to you, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So we know this is a very historic mission, so can you tell us more about it? Sure. This is the very first flight of America's new space launch system, which is the world's most powerful rocket. And it's the very first time Orion, a new spacecraft built to take people back to the moon, will fly to the moon and will go into orbit around the moon. It's a really ambitious flight, 42 days long, where we're gonna ring out all aspects of the rocket and the spacecraft to get it ready for the first crewed flight. And can you talk about that, getting ready to send humans there? I mean, wow, it's hard to grasp for us here. Well, it sure is. You know, the, the moon, unlike low Earth orbit, where we've had a space station for, for a couple of decades, is only a couple hundred miles from the surface of the Earth. The moon and landing on the moon is over 230,000 miles away. It takes days to get there, days to get back. The, the environment of deep space is much harsher, the thermal extremes, the radiation environment. So it's a much harder mission. We've had to do a lot of planning, but it's a really ambition, ambitious mission and we're ready to go. Wow, that's amazing. So I know some people are wondering, how is this program different from the Apollo program? Yeah, you bet. Well, first of all, we learned a lot from Apollo. Apollo took us there for the first time, and we started. We started with the lessons learned from Apollo. But then what we did is we took the advancements here on Earth, the technology, the way the world has evolved over the past 50 years, and everything from avionics to navigation to to rocket propulsion and roll that into our spacecraft and rocket to make it much more reliable, robust system. Also this time, this time we're going to stay. The first time we were in a bit of a race with the Russians, we were, we were going to land and return people. This time we're going to, to stay with an ambitious program of science objectives, technology demonstrations, and we're getting ready. We're using this lunar program to get ready to send people to Mars for the first time. Wow, and I would love to know, because you're in the insider knowledge here, what are you most excited about for this mission? Well, this is probably me, but I was the Orion program manager uh, for a number of years. I built the Orion spacecraft with the Orion team, of course, but uh, what's gonna be very special for me is, is seeing Orion perform its first propulsion maneuvers to send it to correct its trajectory on the way to the moon. And then when we get close to the moon, when Orion inserts itself into orbit, and sends back pictures of the Earth from the moon for the very first time. No big deal. I mean, <laughs> come so on, just amazing. everyday stuff. <laughs> All right, Mark, here's a big question. We know you are from Chicago, so how did you go from the Windy, windy City to NASA? Well, that's, that's a great question. I grew up in Lombard, Illinois, about 12, 12 miles west from where you are. And in 1969, when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin first stepped foot on the moon, I was in the living room of my home in Lombard, Illinois, in between my sister and my father. And that was a life-changing moment for me. It got me interested in math and engineering and science, and it, and it led me to NASA, and I've been here so, uh, ever since. And, and this is a really exciting moment for me to, to take people back to the moon for the very first time wow. since Apollo 1. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that with us, and kudos to you, so this amazing. crew, this team. Yes. I just can't imagine all the work that's gone into just making history here. Mark, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate you. We really do. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, I don't know how we you know, follow to that, weather. but <laughs> here back on Earth... <laughs> In Chicago, that what was do we fascinating. Look at? That Wasn't was that really, cool? Really cool? Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. I'm hoping, you know, this time of year in Florida, which I believe is when the launch is, and someone refresh my memory, is it Monday morning? I think you said Monday. Monday, yeah. yeah. So, you know, 